If your Wi-Fi at home is slow, your smart home devices are laggy to connect, or things just aren't working as well as they should be, your Wi-Fi could be the problem. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and TechGadgetsInternational.com, and before you start shopping for routers, even the Eero Pro 6E here, there's something you need to know. And that's that 6 GHz Wi-Fi is here, and that may affect your purchase and your bandwidth. Stay with me to learn more. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. And don't forget to read or reference this topic. You can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up and you can ask any questions you have. So what is 6 GHz Wi-Fi? I'm going to digress here for a minute and talk about what this band is all about and what it's supposed to mean for you so you can decide if the extra cost is worth it. Not that long ago, Wi-Fi was still a cool new thing and you were probably impressed if you could connect somewhere in public and really pleased with yourself if you had any kind of wireless service in your home that wasn't accompanied by the sound of a phone dialing and that ding ding scree sound from dial-up internet days. Yes, times have changed. The odds are good that most smart home devices, plus your smartphone, tablet, and laptop, all need that Wi-Fi to work effectively. While many homes and smart home device manufacturers, to be honest, still rely on 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gig is more common. But because we live in the future, we're already looking to add even faster 6 gigahertz speeds. So what is Eero Pro 6E? The Eero Pro 6E is a mesh Wi-Fi network designed to be a new whole home Wi-Fi solution that'll offer up faster, better 6G Wi-Fi while also supporting those legacy bands like 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It can also act as a smart home hub able to handle Bluetooth and Zigbee plus the emerging thread network which will help with your smart home gadgets and Alexa enabled smart devices. Being a mesh Wi-Fi system, Eero comes with one or multiple pods that can be placed around your home, which will boost Wi-Fi to those areas, meaning no more dead spots. Eero has three models of its newest Wi-Fi mesh router line. There's the Eero 6, the Eero 6 Plus, and the Eero Pro 6E. If you have a smaller house or space and you don't need the 6 GHz support, the Eero 6 will serve you just fine. If your house is larger, maybe around 5,000 square feet, and you want the 6 GHz coverage, the 6 Plus is a good choice for you. If you are a heavy user and anticipate a lot of 6G usage, or you just have a really large home, say over 6,000 square feet or so, you'll definitely be looking for the Eero Pro 6E. Keep in mind that walls will somewhat limit the range of your Wi-Fi signals, so a three-story home, even with smaller square footage, might need an extra unit compared to a larger bungalow, for example. The Eero Pro 6E also supports over 100 connected devices, and like I said, it covers up to 6,000 square feet. The entire Eero Pro 6E system is cloud-based and allows you to monitor and even limit specific devices on the network and see where your data is being used. So is your kid up on his phone later than he should be? You can turn off his signal. Eero even offers a monthly subscription package that has more robust parental controls if you think you need that. From my experience, it's as simple as plugging in the main unit to AC power, connecting it via the included Ethernet cable to your router, and following the instructions on the Eero app. If you have a multi-pack, it's worth noting you can use any of the pods as the main gateway device, then you just repeat the process with your other pods if you have them. Place them wherever your Wi-Fi signal is weak, plug them in and follow the setup steps, and before long you'll have stronger, more robust, and faster Wi-Fi. During setup, the Eero app will even suggest you can keep the same Wi-Fi network name as your old network to avoid having to re-establish connections and reset up smart home devices, which is huge. Each Eero Pro 6E unit measures about 2 inches by 4 by 4. It won't be an eyesore wherever you end up placing it. With no big antennas or funny sounds coming from it, it'll be barely noticeable in pretty much any space. So will adding one of these devices make your Wi-Fi faster? The answer? Kinda. If you're facing a slow or clogged home Wi-Fi network, you should notice things start to get a little speedier. Now, technically, 6 gig isn't itself faster than 5, 
but adding that bandwidth does help reduce congestion and slowdowns. With the caveat that naturally this might be hampered by your home internet provider and your service that you're getting from them. If you're not having any major problems, but you are dealing with dead spots in the house, for example, adding one of the Eero pods should instantly improve signal quality wherever you are. Let's see what using Eero Pro 6e is like in my space. Admittedly, I have kind of a unique situation. As a tech writer, blogger, and video producer, I have a mountain of smart home devices, not to mention working at home, multiple laptops, smartphones, and it's easy to understand that our old Wi-Fi network was struggling to keep up. In our home, I have so many smart lights now that they are often fighting each other for bandwidth. Since installing the Eero Pro 6e in my home, I've actually noticed a lot less trouble with connections and my smart home gadgets seem a lot happier and more responsive. When it comes to basic Wi-Fi and working from home bandwidth, my video calls are less laggy, there's really never any breakup, and in general, things seem to just work better. I've never been the type to download software to run specialized speed tests on my upload or download speeds. You can certainly find that information on Google or YouTube if you're looking for it, and you can actually view your upload and download speeds, by the way, on the Eero app. I'm just here as an average user to tell you what the practical observations of using this system are. And that is that I have zero dead spots and better service overall after installing a set of these devices. The Eero app is your handy and accessible control center to manage your Wi-Fi network. You can see at a glance which devices are connected and you can see specifically which pod they're connected to if you want and when they were last active. With a click, you can pause that device's access to your Wi-Fi inside the app if you need to. You can also generate a guest network if you want and get push notifications when a new user or device joins it, perfect for keeping an eye on security and potential nefarious use. For a potentially complex Wi-Fi system, though, the Eero app makes it dead simple to manage. The flip side of this is that some more advanced users may find the app limited in its usefulness. And if you're looking for more in-depth parental controls like content filters or online threat oversight, that'll set you back about $3 a month for an Eero Secure subscription. You can add a virtual private network or VPN for a further $10 a month if you want. One of the other considerations for purchasing this product will be that it sets you up for the future. Even though there are not a lot of devices yet that utilize the 6G network, there certainly will be over the coming months and years. Opting in now keeps you connected to those older and current devices while ensuring you're prepared for improving technology in the future. At the same time, if you don't plan to expand your smart home or you aren't really noticing major problems in the house, you might not need this kind of horsepower. I've had the Eero Pro 6e in my home for about a month now, and overall, I'm really happy with it. I find it's helped me reduce congestion, and it's been keeping things like my smart lights from falling off the network due to there being too many devices on at once. To recap, the Eero Pro 6e is purpose-made for those looking to begin adopting 6G-ready devices and for those in very large spaces. When it comes to the downsides of this kit, some more advanced users may find the app doesn't quite give them enough tools for management, and it is worth pointing out the Eero Pro 6e is extremely expensive. The three-pack of pods, which I opted for here, sells for about $699 US dollars or $9.99 Canadian, but a single pod is available for about $299 US or $4.29 Canadian. I'd say those who need this device know why they need it and they'll be pretty happy with it. But if you're just looking for a wee boost or to fix a small dead spot in your home, this is a Canon and what you probably need is a pea shooter. You can probably get an adequate fix for about a fraction of the price. I mentioned some of my smart lights were struggling to find bandwidth in our home and that was because I added more. We actually had smart down lights or pot lights professionally installed, and I review that system, the Lightline Sky system, here on the YouTube channel. Philips Hue also has some pretty cool outdoor rated lights, so if you're looking to bring the smarts to the yard, you can watch that review here as well. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this system. You can also post them here in comments below.
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.